Thank you. Uh, thank you, Andrew. It's wonderful to hear you quote me quoting somebody else. <laughs> who reflects on a general truth. It's a, a pleasure to be with all of you this morning uh, in this great partnership between Israel, the United States, and Africa. Uh, I want to welcome all of you, our American friends, Ambassador Friedman, Andrew, Monica, uh, Minister er uh, Eli Cohen, and Director General uh, Eli Groner, and my African friends who are here, Speaker of the Parliament of South Sudan, all the distinguished diplomats who are here, from Africa and from elsewhere, uh, and uh, our many friends. Uh, this is uh, an initiative that will electrify Africa. Well, literally and figuratively. Uh, this is uh, bringing light, and every time that an African mother will uh, turn on the light or uh, turn on a heater for some water for her children, part of Israel will be there. It's. Uh, a great, great development. And it comports uh, with a vision that I have, which is to have Israel come back to Africa and have Africa come back to Israel. It was a wonderful partnership in the 60s, derailed, now back on track in full force. This locomotive is going very fast. In the last 18 months, I've been three times to Africa. I have to tell my African friends that it, you know, it's been three days since I saw African diplomats and I'm getting <coughs> giddy. Uh, this, is, uh, 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 this is something that is borne about not merely by the friendship of governments. You know, we, uh, we conduct uh, polls on the internet. You can do it too. It's quite startling. Uh, Avram Nagosa, I forgot to mention that I see you as an integral part of our relationship, but I want to tell you something I'm going to tell the Knesset Foreign Relations Committee in about an hour and a half. We conduct polls, and we asked in uh, 54 countries in uh, uh, all the continents, so what do you think of Israel? You think it has value? Is it an asset? You think your countries will benefit from contacts with Israel? So we get startling results that reflect the change in Israel's international position because of our technological uh, prowess in uh, bettering the lives of people in so many areas. Energy is one of them, but water, agriculture, IT, security, all the elements that are important for the maintenance and development of a good life, a good safe life. We see that countries around the world and governments appreciate it. But what we found in this poll is that the people appreciate it. And guess where we got the highest marks? Now, David, don't be offended. The US is way up there. OK, way up there. But guess who's at the top? The people of Africa. They recognize the benefit of partnering with Israel. And that's a tremendous development. It means that what we're doing, what we're uh, developing here, is a partnership not only of governments, but of peoples. And what the people understand is that cooperation with Israel, just as it helped agriculture in Africa in the 60s, can now help every realm of life in the beginning of the 21st century. It's a, a remarkably positive development. We're going to continue this step after step after step. We believe in Africa. I believe in Africa. I believe in the partnership with Africa. And what better partnership can we have than having USAID the U.S. government, Israel, and the African countries working together to secure a better future. So uh, the, the most important thing is to be to the point, and you know that Hebrew is a very compact language. Do you know that? It's very compact. When you translate English, Hebrew into English, it's about a third longer. So in the beginning of the Bible, there are two words in Hebrew, okay? It takes four words to say it in English, but I'll say it, and it summarizes everything that we're doing here. Let there be light. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prime Minister.
Thank you very much, gentlemen. Israel. Israel Power Africa partnership is now launched.